Hi folks, so we're doing Knockout.js programming with NetBeans. In the last video we set up our quiz um, by declaring a data model with um, some observables in it and binding various parts of the UI like this tagline and these buttons to uh, the properties of the object. Um, in this video we're going to take a look at pulling data from JSON and uh, from RESTful Web Services. So uh, as you can see here, we just kind of hard-coded a couple of dummy names for these buttons. But in our project, we actually have this JSON file, which includes all the nice names for us. So we're going to go ahead and pull that in. Um, now, Knockout doesn't care how you grab the data. Um, it doesn't provide any functions for doing uh, AJAX or RESTful calls. Um, so we're just going to use um, jQuery. And um, so let's get started. We're going to uh, declare a variable to hold the data from JSON. So call it questions and okay, let's do var JSON equals null. And we'll use this template I have. Um, I'm going to just set it to do uh, to make an, a synchronous call rather than a, an asynchronous call. In the real world, we wouldn't do this because we wouldn't want to hold up our project, our program execution while we waited for that call to return. Um, the location was JSON stars .json. Okay, and the return type is JSON, and we want to say JSON equals data and return JSON, and let's do a callback at the end of that. Okay, so now we can get rid of all this, and we can just say that the set the value of the of the star list observable array to be, let's say, the first question. So that would be questions zero dot stars. Okay, let's save that and see what happened. And there we go. We have the data from our um, JSON file. So now that we have actual names, we can get an image from a REST call to a custom Google search engine. Um, so we do this much in the same way. Um, let's, whoops get image uh, URL let's give this a name parameter and then we're basically doing the same thing here let's say var URL equals null use our template set it to do a synchronous call um, here's my big long URL, which has all of my information about the search engine plus the name that we passed in. Okay. Um, JSON, yes. So what to do now? Well, we don't know because we don't know what this Westworld web service is going to return. So um, this gives us a good excuse to show off the uh, JavaScript debugging functionality inside of NetBeans. So let's go ahead and call this anyway. So we'll call it set up an observable called image URL and its value is going to be self .get image URL and then we will do the first question Oops. Oh, doesn't know about that okay the first star and the name of that star which should be Michael Douglas Okay, so let's do that, and let's uh, set a breakpoint right there and run this file. And when we do, it, execution stops here, and we can look right in there and see that our data... Okay, there we go. Data is an object um, which uh, has items in it, and inside of items there is a link, and that's what I want to be grabbing. Okay, so we can say here... URL equals data dot items. We'll grab the first item and grab the link for that. Let's return the URL. Okay. And here, let's just go ahead and 
finish that execution. Okay, so now that we've um, we've obtained the URL in this um, self-image URL, we can bind that. We can bind uh, the source attribute of this image to that observable. So we'll use the attribute. Oops, don't know about that. That's a bug. Source is um, image URL. Okay, let's save everything. And indeed, there's Michael Douglas. Okay, so um, in the next video, we'll be looking at uh, defining click handlers for these buttons and finishing up the game.